Good evening, YouTubers. I just got back from Michael's and Hobby Lobby and had a couple of um, collective hauls that I wanted to share. Been kind of waiting a while to do them, and I thought now would be probably a good time. So I guess technically this is my first haul video, <laughs> um, one that I can actually show anyway. Um, I had been to Michael's well before Christmas and had seen this paper, and I just thought it was too stinking cute. I love the colors and the little people and the patterns and um, so I went ahead and I I had bought this and um, I had seen back before Halloween uh, my favorite things I, I get their emails had come out with this dye um, for lollipop um, you know treat covers or whatever and um, when I saw this paper I thought oh, that'd be so cute to do for my kids to give out you know to their friends for Christmas because we always do just a little something and I got on eBay and I found these cotton candy suckers and I thought oh that'd be really cute and something kind of different to put in there so I wound up doing these little um, treat sucker things and the stamp the stamp and the die I got from Simon's the stamp was actually cheaper to order from them the set than it was to order directly from my favorite things but it was um, supposed to be like a Halloween set that says like boo and um, your spectacular and stuff but it does have a treat for you and then some of the circles you know they're plain and then the little stripes in the two and from so i thought oh i can get i can get some use out of that but it comes with the different um discs and it turned out really cute but anyway i had gotten the paper and i was like oh this paper's too small so then i had to go um to michael's obviously and get the the big pad so and it's glittered and it's got you know some different patterns but it's just really really cute so when I was there tonight um, they had you know they're clearancing all the Christmas stuff and I found the kind of pink ribbon that goes with it and then they had the stickers that goes with it for a quarter pack so I bought some of those and um, they had these you know I know you guys have seen all this but these no cards and I thought um, mini album you know these are printed I believe they're printed on both sides the envelopes are pink so you know to do an envelope mini these are perfect I don't even have to cover them if I don't want to I mean I can maybe cover part of it but it'll all coordinate with this paper and these stickers and I was like okay that's just too easy and you know for a quarter a pack there's like six I think in here and then I got these as well because you can do the same thing I mean you don't have to cover the page you know the if you're gonna put the things in there as tags you don't have to cover them you can just kind of decorate the page maybe put mats or you know whatever so I got some of those I mean you know for a quarter pack I thought that's great for a mini and then I got, you know, obviously the chipboard. I'm trying to challenge myself to see if I can come up with something other than using this for a mitten mini. But I have tons of cute, cute um, winter paper that I had gotten last year, like Echo Park and some of the other ones. And um, this one, I, you know, you can use these for sunflowers or, I mean, there's tons of different things you can use for these shapes. And I mean, for a quarter, you can't beat it. And then they had a bunch of their stamps on clearance, and I got this one for a dollar forty-nine. And there's a lady who did a video on doing journaling spots, and I I want to do one too, and that's why I got this one because I figured um, these are really really great for that. And then they had a bunch of their embossing powder for a dollar forty-nine, so I got some embossing powder. I needed some for mail art, mail art, YPP mail art. And then they of course had ribbon, like I said, fifty cents a roll, black and silver. You know you can use that anytime. And I got some of the chipboard pieces like Elise had shown. I got two different packs. She said they were different. So I kind of just like thumbed through them and just kind of looked to see which I could find that had maybe different shapes. And then I got some of this. Everybody was showing these. Really, really cute. I love the pom-poms. And then I got some muffin cups because we use tons and tons of cupcakes and muffin cups. You know, for a quarter, we burned through them. And then I wanted to show... Um, I had ordered from W Plus 9. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them. They have beautiful stamps. They don't have a lot of stuff yet because they're still fairly new. But they have dies and stamps, you know, sets that match. And I had seen these quilt ones. And I think it was this one. Yeah, Quilts Cuts 1 because I get their emails. And I loved it because anytime I've ever done quilt layouts, I have to hand cut the pieces or I have to punch them or whatever. And they had this and I just was like, Ugh. and I have the, um, the hexagon dies from my favorite things that I ordered, you know, back when too. Um, and then they came out with this one. And so I was like, oh, I'm totally gonna splurge. They are not on sale, but I, I went ahead and I got those. And they're really nice. You guys should check out their stamps. They have a damask set that they did this really cool thing with. 
and I still want that one. It's got my eyeball on it. And then I ordered from Paper Tray Ink, which I know you guys have seen, but there's five dollars for these little diamonds. And I wanted the hexagon set that they have, but they they're always out. And then I got this um, jar die, which goes with the stamp set and they call this the friendship jar but they have different ones this is the holiday um like christmas one and it's got like snowmen and snowballs and candy canes and just i have some ideas for this you guys i was supposed to be doing a kit at christmas i've got all this stuff i got a whole nother pile for a whole nother video and then i got this gingerbread set and this is the dies and the stamp set um but you know they're i think this was 24 dollars and this one was 24 and then the die I think is separate for that one but I mean they're gonna be really cute and they have nice nice products for paper tray ink so and then let's see this is gonna be another video I'm just gonna show you a little piece of that y'all probably recognize what that is but you'll see it it's to do with cleaning up my craft room what I'm gonna turn that into um, this I got for a dollar, Prima Flower Centers, and this was missing a jewel, 42. All this stuff was at Hobby Lobby. I got these orange butterflies. I thought those would be great on top of a summer mini. So cute. Six of them for 79 cents. Can't beat that. And then this I got on the Christmas style, and all the Christmas stuff is 90% off. But it's it's like red, that bling mesh kind of plastic stuff. But I thought, man, there's all kinds of holidays, and you know, you can do all kinds of stuff with red. And I think this whole roll was a dollar. So I got that. I got some snowflakes, sequins, mail art, mail art. I had to get some navy blue envelopes for my mail art. And I got this stamp set, you guys. I have been watching the stamp set forever. It's by Glitz Designs. See if I can turn it. And I bought it simply for this. I had to have that. I loved it. I've been eyeballing it and did not want to pay $13. Didn't want to use my coupon on it. And they had it on cleaners for $4.67. So I was really, really excited to get that. <laughs> um, then I got, you know, some other Christmas stuff, 90% off. Little hollies. Got some bells. That's going to be for another project that I was just talking about. I got some of this little holly garland, which I thought was really kind of cool. So, and then I'm just going to show a little glimpse of this. Another surprise. I'll do that in another video. But anyway, that was it. I just wanted to kind of share a little bit of that. And um, thanks for watching, y'all. Night.